Hey guys, welcome back to the Arsenal Blueprint. Thanks for joining me. And outside, it is very hot today. Very hot. Too hot for me. Yeah, apparently we've got heat wave here in the UK. Um, if you're a subscriber, not from England or UK, and it's just too hot. So I'm hid away, blinds up, fan on. Um, so that's why I'm able to wear this jacket um, for the stream, really. Got my new jacket, Adidas jacket with the old cannon on. Nice, nice bit of kit, you know, first bit of Arsenal. Arsenal stuff I bought in over a decade, so it's a jacket, it's not a, it's not a shirt. So it is what it is. And it is what it is with Arsenal. We're playing today, we've got Nuremberg away. I think it's live on the Arsenal app. So if you ain't got the Arsenal app, download it. I think you've got to be a member to watch the game. Um, maybe get a chance to see some of our new sign-ins today. So who have we signed so far? Marquinhos, the Brazilian winger. Um, Matt Turner, the goal, American goalkeeper. Um, Vieira, Fabio Vieira, Portuguese midfielder, playmaker. Um, and Jesus, Gabriel Jesus from City. So, hopefully get a chance to see them in action today in Nuremberg. Apparently there's lots of Arsenal fans that have gone over. Um, the weather's not quite like it is here. I don't know, well, yesterday it wasn't, but today, I don't know, it might be a bit warmer there. You know, they get warm summers in Germany, believe it. Um, warmer than ours, normally. Um... And yeah, I'm just a bit peed off uh, um, this Martinez, Lotorio Lot Martinez thing with Ajax. I don't see why Arsenal are so upset, are so obsessed in getting him. He clearly wants to be with Ten Hag United. Just let that happen. Um, you know, uh, is, you know, how's that going to affect Gabriel's confidence? We've got Saliba back as well. I don't see us uh, the centre back situation a problem at Arsenal. It's the full back area. It's on both sides, right and left especially. And you know, they got we still got Cedric Suarez at right back if Tommy Asu gets injured. Do you know what I mean? He's just not good enough. You know, and we all know about KT Kintun. He gets injured all the time. <laughs> so, I, I don't know what Arsenal are doing there. We should have brought at least one fullback in. A defensive midfielder and an attacking midfielder. Talking about Tillemans, we should have it by the end of the window. Blah, blah, blah. Well, just get him in. If he's going to sign, bring him on in. You know, what is the point of hanging around? Um, and there's talk about Milinkovic Savage coming in from Lazio, 60 mil, and then the next day we bid for Tillemans, 30 mil, or is it a bit? Have we put a bid in? But I don't. I, it's confusing me, but uh, maybe it's to knock the price down a little bit for Tillemans. Say, look, you know, if you don't knock the price down, we're going to go and buy Savage from Lazio. Personally, I'd like to see them both come in because I'd like. I prefer Milinkovic Savage. He is a baller. Serbian international, he's a fantastic talent. So he got one year left in his contract at Lazio, but you know they want like sixty million euros for him, and in his last year, that's just unrealistic. You should get him for about forty, you know, about thirty-five million quid. That should be more like the price, but yeah, you know, I don't think Arsenal are going to pay sixty million for him. I think we should, you know, I don't know why we're not going for like Victor. If we've got that sort of money. Why aren't we going for an Osserman up front? You know what I mean? A Victor Osserman. Didier Drogba in an interview recently bigged him up so he's going to be a big, big player. You know? So I think he's made for the Premier League. He's big, he's strong, he's fast. He's very, he's super fast apparently. He's like 75 or 85 million quid. <laughs> That's a snip in today's what in today's market. You know, everyone everyone bumps the price up when a Premier League team comes in because they know that we've got the cash. And they haven't. Every every other league skin, apart from Premier League teams, well, Bayern Munich seem to have a bit of cash. You know, Bayern have always got cash, haven't they? A well-run club. 
but just a quick one just to say you know still about just about and um up the arsenal and let's try and get these signings over the line let's get at least tillemans in and i'd like to see milinkovic savage come in and i'd like to see like an awesomeman come in now, i don't think we need another wing i think we need another forward i don't want to see eddie and katia running the line why on earth have they given him that contract? I'm dead against it. We should have just let him go. Might be the idea of giving him the contract and then selling him next season. You know, if he doesn't, if he doesn't bang in the goals this season, I think Eddie and Ketter will be sold and Arsenal will get a return then on their investment in bringing him through the academy. We can't let our players go for nothing. And they need to sort Saka's contract out. He's only on 30 grand a week. If I was Saka, look, I'm on 30 grand a week. Look how well he's done. Eddie and Katie has done nothing, banged in like five goals. And he's on about 70 grand more a week. What must Saka might be thinking? Arsenal need to sort his contract out ASAP. Otherwise, it would be off to Manchester City. Come on, Arsenal, sort it out. Gaspar, you're in your. Bloody barbecue. Laters.